Hi, going to talk a little bit today about the uh, Brother Mobile Transfer Express available on iOS and Android to be used with the Brother PTE 550 machine. It gives you the ability to uh, take a database that is uh, built in the office, uh, emailing that uh, out into the field or putting it up on a cloud application and then having that information wirelessly transferred into the Brother PTE 550. The screen you're looking at right now is the address for uh, any Android devices out there. So if you could uh, jot this down. This will need to be uh, downloaded into each of the devices that will be used to transfer the media. The next site I'm going to show you is the URL for the iOS applications. So again, jot this down if you could. Uh, this is to be used on any of the uh, phones or tablets uh, out in the field. Uh, so I'm going to run you through a process of basically uh, building a uh, simplistic database. Now the database can either be built or the information can be extracted from any of uh, CAD software, Visio software, DTool software, Acubit software, Fluke software, anything that can be extracted and then saved as a CSV via Excel uh, can be saved and then wirelessly transferred to the machine. So I'm going to bring up Excel real quick. I'm going to do a very simplistic 48-port uh, patch panel, let's say. Let's start with A01-1. I'm going to drag that down. Let's go down to oh, 48 ports here. All right, so there's my 48 point uh, ports. Uh, at this point, I'm going to save it as a CSV. This is very important. So let's go ahead. Let's save it into the other formats. Let's. Uh, we're going to save it as a 550W. I'm going to do uh, dash one. And we're going to save this. Okay, at this particular point in time, let's go ahead and let's go into all programs. Now, if you have the Brother P-Touch Editor software uh, downloaded, uh, what you'll find is, uh, let's see, under the Brother P-Touch, uh, file and under ptouch tools you'll see the transfer manager 2.2 let's go ahead and bring that up All right, what we're going to do is and you need to have the driver for the 550 on there but we're going to go into configurations now under configurations the easiest way to do this is let's go back let's find that file and we're going to go into documents databases. I'm then going to take the 550W-1 and I'm going to drag and drop here. Once that is done, I'm going to save my transfer file. So when I save my transfer file, notice down here it needs to be saved as the BRAD min file uh, or the .blf. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Uh, let's go into databases. Let's go ahead into save that. Now once that's done, let's go ahead and click out. Let's go back into my documents. Let's go into databases and there you go. There's your BLF. This is the file right here to be emailed to your techs out in the field or to other locations or put up on the cloud. Now that particular tech um, or individual, once they open up the Transfer Express on their device, uh, they have the ability when that is saved to go out and bring that into the Transfer Express. At that particular point in time, you can sync that device wirelessly with the PTE 550W and download uh, the entire file. 
Um, now I've got a, a larger database file saved here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up and as you can see it's got tons of information on there. It's got floor, room location, floor location, closet location, patch panel location, port location, um, it's got the equipment, it's got, so you know, whatever you can extract uh, that can be saved and then wirelessly transferred into the unit. Um, so again, I, I hope you found this helpful. It really is as simple as the steps I uh, just took or just did. Um, if you need more information, please go to www.brother.com or you can go to www.edgelabeling.com.